Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I missed you guys. I'm so happy to be back and to bring you this tutorial today, which is in summer spirit. If you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I had asked you what you would rather see, a bathing suit in one piece or a monokini. And when I put all together, the monokini won but it doesn't mean that in the close future I am not going to make a one piece as well. I really enjoyed creating this bathing suit for you. The beautiful yarn is again a Voltrum yarn. I will put all the information about everything that I used for this tutorial in the info box down below and about my blog where I put all my written patterns. The address had changed. I had so many issues with my domain. But the new address is this, not very different, and it will take you right there. All of my patterns can still be found right there, so go and check them out. If you are not subscribed yet, don't hesitate to do so and join my amazing crochet family. I would love for you to join and also don't hesitate to click on that little bell next to the subscribe button. And like that, you will be notified every time I post a new tutorial. Since it's a little sporadic lately, I am in and out traveling a lot, but whenever I can, I crochet and I film and I edit for you guys. So mm, be patient with me. I will still be posting, I uh, promise. Uh, yeah, so I hope you've been doing well. Uh, here is the bathing suit. It is gorgeous, I absolutely love it. So the material that I used is not really water friendly. I think you could, you know, dip yourself once in a while with it and be okay with it. If you would like to get a more sturdy bathing suit, um, you know, crocheting, you need to use acrylic, 100% acrylic, and that would really prevent it from stretching and losing its shape. It is super sexy. It is, um, not the most covering i know next my next bathing suit will be more covering i promise as for the different sizes i will try to put a, a written pattern on my blog in the next few days for a size medium and large as well so you can adapt it this one is more like a small medium i would say i absolutely love the way it came out it's a super feminine super dainty and yes and i love the fact that you can really customize your bathing suit and you can make it for the exact side you want for your bottom if you want it high waist you could do that if you want to um, you know more a uh, scoop cover up you can do that and that's the magic of crochet if you have been following me for a while you know me i do not know how to sew very well but these beadings would need to be lined or else it's going to be totally transparent i mean that might be fine by you <laughs> and that's perfect you do you but i like to line mine i had asked my super duper mother-in-law to line it for me and she did she lined the triangle tops and the bottom part no need to line uh, the belly part, the, all the beauty is that it's lacy and that you can see right through it. Ooh, okay, <laughs> that's a lot of talking. Are you still enjoying your crochet journey with me? Because I really am and when I do not post and when I don't have time to do it, I really, really miss it. So super happy to post today and I hope you will enjoy it too. So if you are interested in knowing how to crochet this gorgeous monokini, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, happy crochet, I missed you, bye. All right, let's do this. Here is the beautiful Voltrum yarn. Again, to see all the info about it, go to the info box down below. Here is my 225 millimeter crochet hook, my scissors and my tapestry needle. Take your yarn and make a slip knot. You are going to make 80 chains. We are creating the bottom part of your bathing suit. Once you have 80 chains, you're going to add one extra. And in the second chain from your hook, you're going to make a single crochet and then single crochet in the next chain and in the next 
and in the next all along your 80 chains that you just made. At the end of those 80 chains, you're going to chain one, turn your work around, and you're going to single crochet in the first stitch right there, and in the next, and single crochet all along 80 times in total. You're going to repeat exactly the same thing for your third row. So chain one, turn your work around and single crochet 80 times. So you're reaching the end of your third row. At the beginning of the fourth row, you're not going to chain one, you're going to turn your work around and we're going to decrease at the beginning and at the end of your fourth row. Let me show you how to decrease, it's really easy. So turn your work around, pass your crochet hook in that first little hole there, your first crochet stitch. Yarn over and right back through that little hole. You're going to have two loops on your crochet hook. Going to the next stitch, pass your crochet hook, yarn over and back through that hole. You are going to have three loops on your crochet hook and at that point you're going to yarn over and pass it through all the loops on your crochet hook and that's it you decreased from two single crochets to one super easy isn't it and now you're just going to continue crocheting all along your fourth row until you reach the two last stitches and we're going to decrease again you ready let me show you again so you have those two last stitches left and you see those last stitches one and two and you're going to turn them into one again passing your crochet hook through the stitch the next stitch yarn over and right back through that same stitch you have two loops on your crochet hook then you go to the next stitch and do the same thing pass your crochet hook through the stitch yarn over and back through that same stitch you have three loops on your crochet hook you're going to yarn over and through the three of the loops on your crochet hook and voila tada! you decreased again so you decreased at the beginning and at the end of your fourth row in total you will have 78 stitches and for the fifth row this is your fifth row right now for your fifth row, your sixth row and your seventh row, you are going to single crochet all along those 78 stitches. And at the ninth row, you are going to decrease again the same way at the beginning and at the end of your row. So at the end of your ninth row, you will have 76 stitches in total. Now what you will do for the rest of your, the back of the bottom of your monokini is that from the 10th row on, you are going to only decrease at the beginning of each row. So you're going to your 10th row, you're going to decrease turning the two first single crochets into one and then single crocheting around. So at the end of your 10th row, you will have 75 stitches. At the end of your 11th row, 74 stitches. At the end of your 12th row, 73 stitches, and so on and so forth. And you are going to continue like that until you have a total of 40 stitches. This is what your work will look like at the end of your 34th row, but we will continue until we have 40 stitches in total. To reach 40 stitches, I will have a total of 45 rows, continuing just decreasing at the beginning of each row. But at the end of my row, I'm just continuing to single crochet until the last stitch regularly. And I'm turning my work around. Since I'm decreasing at the beginning of every round, I don't need to chain one. And I'm decreasing. Continuing like that until the end of the 45th row, when I will have a total of 40 stitches. And this is what the back of the bottom of your monokini will look like when you have reached those 40 stitches left in total. And now we're going to begin to decrease again at the beginning and the end of our rows. So for row 46, you are going to decrease at the beginning and at the end of your row. Here you go, that is the beginning of my 46th row. 
I'm decreasing at the beginning and I'm single crocheting all along. Can you see how dry my skin is on my fingers? It's crazy. This winter has been brutal. All right, so you have reached the end of your 46 row. Here are the two last stitches and you're going to turn, turn them into one by decreasing the same way we did. Here you go, so that's your 46 row. At the end of your 46 row, you're going to have 38 stitches. And for your 47th row, you're going to do the same again, decreasing at the beginning and at the end of your row. So at the end of your 47th row, you will have 36 stitches and you are going to continue like that in the same manner, decreasing at the beginning and the end of the row until you have 14 stitches in total. We want the back of the bottom of your monokini to go nicely around your bum, not being too revealing and not being too wide. And that's the way we achieve that. At the end of your 58th row, you will have 14 stitches left in total. Once you have those 14 stitches left in total, for the next 18 rows, you're going to just chain one, turn your work around and single crochet all along those 14 stitches, not decreasing at all. This is going to be a straight part that goes right in between your legs. This is what your work will look like once you begin to single crocheting along those 14 stitches for 18 rows. So from row 59 to 76, single crocheting all along your 14 stitches. All right, so when you are um, done with your 76 row, time to increase to create the front part of your bottom. So we are at row 77 and you have still 14 stitches in total. Now we are going to increase instead of decreasing. Let me show you how to increase. Super easy, even easier than decreasing. You are going to chain one and turn your work around. And you are just going to make two single crochet in the first stitch and that's it. That's the way you increase. Genius, isn't it? And then you're going to single crochet along the rest of your stitches until you reach the last stitch of your row, of your 77th row. Single crocheting along. I love single crochet. So nice and easy and relaxing. Isn't that yarn beautiful, by the way? Do you see the lighter blue that appeared? I love that. Here you go, so that's the, the last stitch of your row and you're going to just make two single crochets in that last stitch. At the end of your 77th row, you will have 16 stitches in total. Chain one and turn your work around and now let's tackle the 78th row. And for that, you are going to single crochet all along. At the end of your 78th row, you will have still 16 single crochet in total. We do not want the increase to be too steep or else it's going to look weird. So we're going to single crochet all along without increasing on this 78th row. We are done with the 78th row. And for the 79th, you're going to chain one, turn your work around, increase at the beginning of your row, making two single crochet in the first stitch, single crocheting all along until you reach the end of your 79th row. And in the last stitch, guess what? You will increase again by making two single crochets at the end. So at the end of your 79th row, when you are all done, you will have 18 stitches. For your 80th row, you're going to single crochet all along those 18 stitches. And you are going to repeat those two rows. So the first one increasing at the beginning and at the end of the row, and the second one just single crocheting all along. Repeating those two rows for a total of 10 times. So you're going to have 20 rows of these repetitions. 
bringing you to the 97th row. At the end of your 96th uh, row, you will have 34 stitches in total. For the 97th row, what you're going to do now is increase, so making two single crochets at the beginning or in your 97th row, and then single crocheting all along. until you reach the end of your 97th row. You are going to continue like that the same way until you reach the end of the 106th row. You will have 46 stitches then in total. And then we're going to switch a little bit the pattern. What you're going to do is for the next, for the rest of your work until you reach 60 stitches in total, you're going to increase at the beginning and the end of the next two rows and then single crochet in the third. And you're going to continue like that until you have 60 stitches in total. So I increased at the beginning of row 107, at the beginning and the end of the row, I had 48 stitches at the end. I increased again at the beginning and the end of row 108, I had 50 stitches in total. Row 109, I single crocheted all along, I still had 50 stitches at the end. 110, 52 stitches, 111, 54 stitches at the end, 112, I single crochet all along. And I did that until row 116 when I ended up with 60 stitches at the end. And that is when you will be done with the bottom part of your monokini. Now time to work on the pattern that will be um, in the front, up your belly, towards the top of your monokini. This is what the bottom of your bedding suit will look like. You have 60 stitches in total. So in that part of the tutorial I switched to a smaller uh, crochet hook. It was a number two crochet hook. I realized after that it was too small and I switched back to my two 25 uh, millimeter crochet hook but you do whatever you want it doesn't make a big difference all right so what you're going to do is turn your work around and chain five then you're going to skip two single crochets and on the third one you are going to make a double crochet And you're going to chain two and you're going to skip two stitches and again in the third one making a double crochet. You are going to repeat this four times. I'm going to have four little squares there. Now you're going to chain two and instead of skipping two stitches, you are going to skip one stitch and then single crochet in the next. Making little narrower squares. Chain two, skip one, double crochet in the next. And you're going to continue like that all along until you have 12 stitches left at the end of your row. We want to have a total of 26 little squares for that first row of the pattern that goes on your belly. So once you have 12 stitches left, you're going to chain two and skip two stitches again and double crochet in the next. And you're going to do that four times until you reach the end of your row. Voila, and this is how your work will look like at the end of the first row for the belly pattern. So you have 26 little squares like that, that you just created. And let's move on to the second row of that beautiful pattern. You're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work around. And in that first little square there, you're going to make two double crochets. The chain three that you created at the beginning will count as your first double crochet. 
So it's like you have three double crochets, then you're chaining two, still in that same space, the chain space that creates the first square. You're going to make three more double crochets. Now you're going to chain five and for that second row you're going to skip one of your squares and you're going to single crochet in the middle of the second in that chain two from your pre previous row. And then what you're going to do now is chain five and single crochet in the chain two space from the next square. Chain 5 and single crochet in the chain 2 from the previous square. You're going to repeat that all along that second row until you have two squares left. This is what your work will look like. The, the double crochets at the beginning, those little chain five single crochet, and then you have those two squares left now. And what you're going to do next is chain five. Sorry about the focus there. You're going to skip one square, and then in the last one, you're going to make three double crochets. Focus, focus. A little better. So three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets in that last chain space in your last square. And that's the way you're going to end each and every row for this pattern. We are done with the second row. Let's tackle the third one. So again, chain three. Turn your work around and in that chain two space from the previous row you're going to make three double crochets chain two and three double crochets and this is the way from now on you're going to begin each and every row of this pattern of this um, beautiful lace pattern that will be on your belly. Now you're going to chain five. So you know you pass that chain five with the first chain five we have done and then in the next chain five space you single crochet. Now you're going to chain five and single crochet in the next chain five space from the previous row. You're going to repeat that for a total of nine times. You will have nine little half circles like that created by your chain five and single crochet. We did one time, now repeat eight more times. All right, so you see you have nine little half circles right there. In the next half circle, in the next chain five from the previous row, you're going to make three double crochets in that same chain space, right? Make three double crochets, chain two, and again three double crochets in that same chain five space from the previous row. Now you're going to single crochet in the next chain five space from the previous row, and you're going to repeat making chain five single crochet nine times, creating those nine half circles symmetrical to the other side of that middle little fan you created. And now you're going to chain five and now in the chain two space in between those three double crochets from the previous row you are going to make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in that same chain two space. 
and you are done with your third row for the fourth one you're going to chain three turn your work around in the chain two from the previous row you're going to make your three double crochets chain two three double crochets and you are going to make your chain five and you're going to single crochet in the first half circle from the previous round and chain five single crochet chain five single crochet this is what your work will look like you continue chaining five and single crochet until you reach that last half circle from the previous row we'll have eight half circle in total you will chain two and in the chain two, in the middle of the three double crochet, chain two, three, three double crochet from the previous row, you are going to do exactly that. In the chain two, in the middle, you're going to make three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And then you're going to chain two again, and you're going to single crochet in the next half circle from the previous row, chain five, single crochet. I really have a focus problem in this tutorial. I am so, so sorry. I think I need a new lens. All right, but this is what your work will look like. You get the idea. You have that three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of your row. In between the one in the middle, you have eight half circle this time. At the end of your eight half circle, you just chain five and do three double crochet, chain two, <coughs> three double crochet in the chain two in between the fan from the previous row. And you are done with your row. So each and every row, you will have one less half circle in between your fans. So, you know, still repeating the same thing for the next row, chain three, and then making a fan, which is the three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, in the chain two from the previous row, in the middle of the fan from the previous row. Then you're going to chain five again, and you're going to this row this time, make seven little half circle single crochet in the first half circle from the previous row chain five and since you are decreasing half circles that is what will create that shape that goes tapering on your belly now we have seven since we begin with nine eight seven now we are going to chain three remember in the previous row we chained two and then we did the middle fan this time we're going to chain three and every row we are going to increase that middle chain there on each side of the middle fan so the next row will be four chain and then five chain until we have seven chain in total then it will stay seven chains but for now you chain three, you did your middle fan there, then you're going to chain three again. And you're going to skip the chain two from the previous row. And in the next half circle, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, and like that you're going to have seven half circle again on that side of your middle fan. So we begin with nine half circle, eight, now it's seven. The next row will be six, and then five, and then four, and then three, and then two, and then one. Chain five and make your fan in the chain two from the previous row to end that row. As we do for each row. I think by now you're getting the hang of it. We are at the end of our fifth row from our belly pattern and this is what your work will look like. Super pretty. I love it, love it, love it. And it's only going to get better and prettier. 
So we are done with our fifth row. Let's tackle the sixth one. It's going to be more of the same. For the sixth one, you will have your fan. You will have six a half circle in between those fan. You will have that middle fan. And this row, we will have four chains before your middle fan. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two chains, three chains. And for this row, we're going to make four chains before and after that middle fan. Here we are at the end of the ninth row from your beautiful pattern. At the end of your ninth row, you will have seven chains in between the before and after the middle of your fan there. And you will have three half circles on each side. And you see how it is kind of tapering down on each side where your bidding suit will sit on your hip and it will narrow down and towards the middle part of your body. And that's exactly what you want. You are decreasing basically by having less half circles in between those hands. Now we're going to tackle the 10th round, which will be a slightly bit different, but not too much, super easy. All right, so you begin your 11th round the same way. You do the fan at the beginning, the chain five, your two half circles. What you are going to do next is still chain your seven, but then in the middle chain two of the fan, what you are going to do is make three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets. That's no change at all. But now what you're going to do is adding another chain two and three double crochets in that same chain two space. So in total, you will have three double crochets, two chain, three double crochets, two chain, three double crochets in that same chain two space. That is a whole difference for this row. And then you're going to just continuing the same way, chain seven, making those two half circles, etc. For the eleventh row, we're going to begin the same way, making your fan, your chain five, and you will have one half circle left to make. Now you're going to chain seven again this pointy little kind of upside down mermaid tail pattern. All right, so in the chain two from the fan from the previous round, you're going to make three double crochets. And then you're going to chain two and you're going to make three double crochets again in that same chain two space, so creating a little fan on the side there. Now what you're going to do is chain two and make another fan in the next chain two space from the previous row. So three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in the chain two space. And then you're going to continue your row just by making seven chain, one half circle, chain five and, a, and then a fan. And this is what your work will look like. Isn't it pretty? Now the pattern is slightly changing. We don't have those upside down mermaid tails to make. We are done with those. So what you're going to do is make your first fan. Then you're going to chain seven. You're going to single crochet in that half circle from the previous row and then you're going to chain seven again and what you're going to do is in the chain two from the first fan from the previous row you're going to make three double crochets chain two and three double crochet in that same chain two space from the previous row 
All right, then you are going to go straight to the next chain two in between the two fans in the previous row. And you're going to make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in that chain two space in between the two fans from the previous row. And then in that chain two in the next fan from the previous row, you're going to make a third fan, making three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So now you're going to have three fans in the middle of your work. Voila. Chain seven. And single crochet in the middle of the half circle from the previous row. Chain seven again and make your fan to finish that row. And this is what your work will look like. Gorgeous. And now for the 13th row. Chain three and turn your work around as usual. So you're going to make your first fan as usual for this 14th row and make your usual chain five. And then in the chain two from the fan from the previous row, you are going to just make three double crochets. See, this is what your work will look like. Then you're going to chain five and in the next fan, middle chain two, you are going to make 11 double crochets. We are changing it up. 11 double crochets. Let's do this. Goody goody. Five more chains and in the next chain two, in the middle of the fan from the previous row, you're going to make three double crochets. See, we're changing it up for this row, living dangerously. Then you're going to chain five and you're going to make your fan, making three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, as usual. Ending your 13th row. Let's do the 14th row now. Still beginning the same way, chain three and make a fan. Gorgeous. Now you're going to chain seven. And you are going to skip the three double crochets from the previous row and you're going to go all the way to the first of the 11th double crochet we had made. You're going to double crochet in it. You're going to chain one and you're going to double crochet in the next double crochet from the previous row. Chain one and repeat. 11 times in total. Then you're going to chain seven again. And you're going to make your last fan. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And you are done with your 14th row. Now for your 15th row, chain three, turn your work around and make your first fan.
chain 7, single crochet in the f on top of the first double crochet from the previous round and you're going to chain 5 and single crochet on top of the second double crochet from the previous round right on top of the second double crochet from the previous round and chain 5 and again repeat 11 times in total chain 5, single crochet on top of each and every one of the double crochets from the previous row you will have again 11 little half circles then what you will do is chain 7 and repeat the last fan and you are done with your 15th row now for your 16th row you're going to turn your work around chain 3 make your fan make 7 up 7 chains and you are going to each and every row make one less half circle than the previous so you're repeating that little upside down mermaid tail in the middle of your fans and then chaining seven and then making your fan and this is basically what you will do on until you have five half circles left in the middle and then you will fasten off All right, look how gorgeous it looks. And we are getting to the end of the belly part of your bathing suit, of your monokini. We are almost there, guys, almost there. Time to fasten off. There, look how pretty. I absolutely love it. You are done with the lace pattern that will go in the front of your monokini. Came out gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous and you will be assembling this part to the top so now time to create your top and for your top i will link below in the info box the link to my previous tutorial where i showed you how to create a bikini top because this is basically two triangle tops that we are going to do right now and it's exactly the same way as for my tutorial so go check it out make your two triangle tops and i will meet you once you are done with them all right so you have your two triangle tops one you fastened off and the other one you did not and you're going to place them both with the point down and you are going to chain five once you have chained five you're going to assemble with the triangle top you had fastened off and you're going to do that by single crochet in, in the first little corner stitch and you're going to pick up single crochets all along the bottom of your triangle top eventually we will do the other side but for now we are beginning by picking up single crochets on the left bottom part of your triangle top and you know pick up the stitches as they come Usually it's about one per row. The important thing is that you remember how many single crochet you picked up from one side and then repeat the same amount on the other side. So both of your bikini tops are symmetrical. All right, so picking up my single crochets and I'll meet you when I reach the corner of the bikini top. Okay, so we are done with that bottom of the bikini top. Now we are going to create the strap, what you will tie your top with. And for that, we're going to make a chain. So let's get chaining. You will make a chain of 120. And when you're done with your chains, in the second chain from your hook, you're going to single crochet and you're going to single crochet all along until you reach back that bottom part of your triangle top. Now we are going to work on the sides of your top and for that we're going to create some picot stitch. You're going to chain three and you're going to slip stitch at the bottom of that chain three. Then in the next stitch you're going to slip stitch and in the next you're going to single crochet and create your picot again by chaining three and slip stitching at the base of your chain three oops right there then you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch again make a single crochet in the next 
See the pico stitches? Chain three and slip stitch at the bottom. I love the pico uh, edging. It's for bedding suits, I think it is feminine and dainty. And we are going to continue making the pico edge like so, all along, going all the way to the triangle top, to the pointy part of your triangle top. Look how pretty. And you're just going to continue making your pico on the other side of your triangle top, going down this time until you reach the five chains we had made in between those two triangle tops and you're going to actually in those five chains do a pico as well and then continuing the pico on the other triangle up and down the same way now when you reach the other side of your triangle top you're going to then make 120 chains single crochet in the second chain from your hook single crochet all along that strap and then you're going to pick up the bottom part of the first triangle top the one we have in single crochet at the bottom until you reach the end of the five chains that link the two triangle tops together then you're going to fasten off you are going to sew in all the loose tails and the next step is to create the straps that are going to tie your bikini top to your neck and for that you take your crochet hook and your yarn and you slip stitch right behind the pico at the pointy part of your triangle top and you chain again 120 and you do the same you single crochet in the second chain from your hook and all the way down until you reach back your triangle top And then you slip stitch and you fasten off. You're done with your first strap. Don't forget to sew in all your loose tails. You are going to repeat exactly the same to the other side. Now let me show you how to assemble your uh, belly part to your top. So what you need to do is find the middle part, the middle stitch in those middle five chains you had created to link between the two triangle tops. Find the middle one, so the third one in the middle, and match it with the middle one of your lace belly part there in the middle, and match it with the number three from the belly top. First we're going to work on the wrong side of our work, so turn your work wrong side facing you. Alright, so you find the middle chain from your top, you find the middle chain from your bottom, which is the middle of the five half circles that you had for your belly lace. And what I'm going to do to make sure that I match it nicely is I'm going to slip stitch from the middle to the left and then I'm going to go see how many stitches I will have left on the side of my top and then I will copy it and do exactly the same thing for the other side. I find it easier like that to match it so it is symmetrical and the way I assemble it is that I match my stitches together and I take the part of that little stitch and you can see it forms a little V. The stitch that is on the lace part I pick up the uh, part of the V that is closer to me and then the V stitch from the top I pick up the part that is further away from me and then I slip stitch between the both of them and that's how I assemble it and I go along stitch by stitch matching it and I do it for the other side uh, for the right side as well and once you are done don't forget to sew in the loose tails we are getting there guys I love this bathing suit. All right, here we go. Now we are going to go back and finish the edging on the bottom part, on your bottom bikini part. First, we're going to create the strap that you will tie those two parts together, the front and the back of your bottom. I'm going to make 120 chains and then I'm going to place my work right side facing me and at the right side of the front of my bikini I'm going to slip stitch and I'm going to single crochet picking up each and every stitch 
one per row usually and single crochet as they come um, to me. So we are creating a really nice edging and you know my edging is a uh, lighter blue since it's, it is a gradient yarn and I love the contrast but you do you, you do whatever you want, <clears throat> same color, different color. The important thing is that you remember how many stitches you pick from one side of your bathing suit and match to the other sides which will be symmetrical. So write down how many stitches exactly you picked up on one side until you reach, you remember that crotch, the middle part was straight, it was 18 rows that were single crochet. Just until you reach those 18 rows, remember how many stitches you picked up and try to replicate it on the other side. All right, you're going to single crochet your way all the way to the other side to the back of your, the upper side of the back of your bikini bottom. When you reach the upper side of the back of your bikini bottom, you're going to create the second strap by just chaining 120. So chain your 120 and then in the second chain from your hook, you are going to single crochet and you're going to single crochet your way back until you reach your bikini bottom again. Alright, you're back at the edge of your bikini bottom. Now you are at the top part of the back of your bikini bottom and super easy here, you are going to pick up each and every stitch as they present themselves to you and you're going to single crochet all the way the back of your bikini bottom until you reach the other side. When you reach the other side, you're going to make your third strap, chaining 120, coming back single crocheting all along in the second chain from your hook first and then all along until you reach your bikini bottom again and you're going to repeat exactly the same all along the opposite side of your bikini bottom until you reach the front part of your lace again and then you will do the last strap there 120 chains etc etc you sew in all the loose tails and you are done my friends omg <laughs> i love this bathing suit i think it is gorgeous i will work on the written pattern and try to give you a small a medium and an extra large version of it in my written pattern give me a few days for that but it will come really really soon I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. This one took me a long time to create. I wanted it to be perfect. I am in the work to create a one-piece bathing suit as well, but it's really tricky with crochet because you want it to be a little bit elastic. All the bathing suits are usually elastic. Crochet yarn is less giving, but I'm working on it, so stay tuned. And yeah, that's it in the meantime. Happy crochet, I love you, Mwah. kisses. Uh, in the... All my patterns are... Don't hesitate And like that you will be notified, notified, notified. Uh, um, um, without further ado... I feel like I have lipstick in my teeth. Do I?